Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can see, I've got a lot of goodies sitting out here. I'm going to do a quick run through of all of the affordable designer handbags that I've acquired in the recent year or so. I know many of you have been asking me to try them out and then give more uh, detailed updates. I think I did dedicated videos on every single one of these bags and I probably even did detailed reviews, but still I wanted to give you yet again another update. And then some of them I haven't had a chance to give you an update on, so this will be a fresh take also I want to show you this this is not a sponsored video this is from idol and you may recall in a few videos ago I received a set of jewelry from idol and it was just beautiful I actually chose the rose gold pieces and then I quickly changed my mind because as much as I love rose gold I decided that the pieces that idol sent me would look really beautiful even more beautiful in white gold so I reached out to them and I was pleased with their customer service because they quickly allowed me to exchange and it was a very smooth and easy process. So if you ever do order from Idol and you have to exchange or return for whatever reason, just know that you have peace of mind knowing that you can do that. So this is what it looks like. This is a little pouch that the pieces come in. And they send this little free gift. So last time they sent a jewelry cleaning kit. And since I returned that with my original order, they sent me a different free gift, which is a scrunchie, which is perfect because I can use this to tie my hair up when I'm working out. So here we go. And then of course the original paperwork and everything. If you're not familiar with Idol, I did uh, feature them in my everyday jewelry video. And uh, I think I got a lot of response actually. Some of you ordered pieces from Idol for Mother's Day and you reached out to me on Instagram saying that you're really pleased. So I was really happy for you. We were celebrating together and you can check out that video. because There's more information there with close-ups. But these are the pieces that I got. These are the Audrey earrings with the medium sized stud and then the Lena necklace with little diamonds so they specialize in lab grown diamonds which are much more sustainable and environmentally friendly because it doesn't require any mining i know that some people are still warming up to the idea of lab grown diamonds including myself but after doing a lot of research i decided to go for it so this is so pretty and i'm glad that i did go ahead and exchange because I love it in the white gold. So I'll link their information down below if you're interested. They've got a lot of really cool pieces and they're all modular so you can mix and match them. So this stud comes out and I can put something else. You'll see, you have to go into their website to understand. But also check out my everyday jewelry collection video if you are interested. But I wanted to give a quick update because I'm pleased with my interaction back and forth so far from this company Idol. Okay, now let's move on to the bags. So in no particular order, I just want to show you. So let me just jump into this one. So you guys remember when I got the Parisa Wang bags, these were gifted to me. So some of these bags were gifted to me in full transparency from the brand. And some of them I just purchased myself. So it's a kind of a mix, but I, I treat them all the same regardless. So this is the Madison top handle bag in the mini size. And even though it's called, I think it's called micro size actually, but it's not that micro as you can see. It's a really nice practical everyday size. I also got the medium in the caramel brown color, which is not here because my mom saw it. And as soon as she spotted it, she was like, Ooh. So I said, mom, you can have that one. It's hard for me to say no to her, but I have to keep this one because not only do I think this one is so super cute with the black and white houndstooth tweed, but I want to keep at least one of them so I can continue to give you guys updates. But so far, this is super, super hard wearing, very durable. You can see it's got that textured calf skin. They call it walrus texture, kind of like walrus skin, I guess. And that aged brassy hardware. Again, I love this. You can get it without the tweed, but I think this is just so fun. Even my mom was like, that's so cute. And I was like, mom, you can only have one. <laughs> so here's the top handle. Just to show you really quickly. And here's how it opens with a magnet flap. And it's really perfect for on the shoulder or crossbody. It's got this adjustable strap. And it's actually pretty roomy inside. I will say the only thing, and I think I mentioned this in my dedicated video. The only thing that I would point out as a possible con is this is how the hardware closes. It's a little fiddly, which is fine. It looks cute. Some of you said it looks like a cross between an Hermes Kelly and a Ferragamo bag. And I can see that. I can totally see that. Okay. It also gives kind of like Fendi peekaboo vibes too. So there's a lot going on that's reminiscent of some of the other classic styles, but it's 
it's also kind of doing its own thing. So this is what it looks like. The only con, like I was gonna say, is when you pull this back open, it just comes undone. So if you don't like that loose, open look, well, that's gonna happen over and over again. I don't mind it because I think it looks a little bit more kind of carefree when you leave it open like this, but that's the only thing. And there's no feet, but that hasn't bothered me at all in terms of my, my use of this. The only thing I will say is the tweed, I feel like it's very seasonal for fall and winter. I'm not seeing myself gravitating towards this, this spring or summer just because of the material. But if you wanted it to be all season, you can get this bag in whatever size you want without the tweed and just get the all leather. And I think that will be really kind of just easy for a grab and go anytime. So like I said, I'll link everything down below. I still have a promo code. It's not an affiliate thing. It's not, I don't get any compensation for it. I think it's like 12% off your order. So if I still have that, I will link it down below in my description box. And if you decide to shop with Parisa Wang, it's a New York company, then you can save some money. But so far, so good. All right, and then let's move on to this one here. So this is from Ateliers Auguste. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing this company properly, but it's a Paris-based brand and all of their bags are made in Italy. I've shared this before. I did a dedicated video. This is the mini Monceau bag. It's one of their best sellers now. They've kind of blown up. Um, it's still a very quiet brand, but a lot of people are checking them out now. So this is what it looks like. Really simple on the inside with the compartment here. My phone, which is a Pro Max size iPhone, fits right in there, which is nice, very roomy. And then you've got this one for cards and cash or a little metro card or valet ticket. And then the main compartment, which is fabric lined and the pockets are leather lined. I don't know, it's just super, super lightweight, very simple, just kind of like minimalist, no fuss. You can see here, it has a little bit of embossing with the brand name, hidden magnet, no like crazy designs or hardware or embellishments, adjustable strap, easy, easy. I've taken this with me on multiple trips, including Paris. And I was actually invited to stop by their store based in Paris, but I couldn't because I had limited time and I was with family and I had to be choiceful about what we did while we were there. But I would have loved to have visited because there's no brick and mortar store here in New York City. So this one is just perfect. It's working really well for me. I am totally impressed. As you can see the stitching, so I like this and the chalk color goes with everything. People have stopped me to ask me where this bag is from. So it's a good one. Then I have this one here, which is also from the brand. This is the second one that I got. And so here I have a story. So this is gorgeous, isn't it? I did a video saying that this looks very much like the Celine Classic box bag. And I did a side by side. If you missed that video, I'll link it up above. It's beautiful. It's the gold edition. So it's got this really nice gorgeous ribbed textured hardware magnetic simple simple but bigger so this is the original monceau size and i'm gonna be honest i have not gravitated towards this same layout as you can see you can see all the stuffing and paperwork is in there because i'm not really using it not because the bag is bad the bag is beautiful it's got this really nice smooth leather to it it looks nicer and more expensive than it is in terms of price. Pricing is really fair. Here it is, the branding. And I don't know, I just think it's it's a really polished, kind of professional but elegant looking bag and it's timeless, right? And everyone's talking about quiet luxury. I, I shared my whole point of view on this quiet luxury movement. <laughs> You know my take if you watch that video. But anyway, if you're gravitating more towards these type of looks, I think this is absolutely beautiful. However, here, it's huge for me. I don't know what it is. I think it's the boxiness. It feels bigger than it actually is. It's not that big. It's probably just about the same size as my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse or similar, maybe a little taller, but I don't know. I, I grab this a lot and I don't grab this one. So. Remember I said that I'm gonna test out a lot of affordable designer brands for you guys and be a bit of a guinea pig and give you updates. And then at some point, I'm gonna give some of these bags away because I can't test them all out and keep them all for myself. That's ridiculous. Um, so this one I think I'm going to eventually include in some kind of giveaway in the future. So not again, not because I don't like the bag, but because it's kind of big for me. I do wish that I had chosen the mini size in this exact combination, black, gold edition, mini size, perfect, perfect. 
I just think the original size is too boxy for me. All right. Then, oh, let's go to APC because this is a bag that I bought not that long ago and I am really loving it. And it also gives kind of like those Celine classic box vibes. So APC Grace baguette style so this is the elongated style they also have the square original grace i like this better because i don't know i really don't know why i like it well the branding is in the back which i prefer versus having it in the front the original grace has it in the front so it looks a little less clean so i love this clean look you see how they put the branding on the back i do wish if I could change only one thing about this bag, I wish they put the branding on this one in the back as well, just because it looks cleaner, you know? But it's okay. So I love this bag. It's so, look at this. So nice, so nice. It's often on sale. If I find it on sale, I'm gonna link it down below for you guys. A lot of different colors. They have it in black, they have it in caramel color. They've got it in this rich sort of wine brown color. Look at the lining, it's like suede. The only thing I will say, well, two things. I have no complaints about this bag. But this one, I prefer to wear it short shoulder, which is very, very unusual for me. I prefer crossbody almost always. But this one doesn't work as comfortably crossbody because the holes, unless you, I mean, if you want to add another hole, you can do that. I'm just too lazy to do that. The holes don't line up for crossbody. But on the shoulder, I just think it looks so chic, so Parisian. If you don't know APC, it's actually a quite old brand it's not like a new up-and-coming brand they've been around for a long time and they are based in Paris so and they're kind of like a midpoint price range the other thing I will mention is that this here is quite slim as you can see and the leather is really nice and durable and some of you were saying like you're worried about it getting scratched I've got pretty long nails and so far I haven't gotten any scratches on it so I'm not really worried I'm also not worried about my Celine Classic box bag that has a box, smooth box leather because I've had that for years and I don't have scratches on that either. So I guess I just take care of my bags. I'm not too rough with them. But the slim silhouette here, which makes this look so pretty, the baguette style, is unforgiving. So you can't really like shove stuff in there. You can't put bulkier items. You can't, um, you just can't put thick items in here okay so if you're just putting like your phone and your card holder and a slim key a key pouch and a lipstick and your airpods or earbuds or whatever that's fine it works perfectly i can fit all of my essentials in here and then some just not anything bulky you see that it's like an inch in in the depth or width i should say from here to here so that's it something for you to be aware of i hope this is helpful so far Okay, then where am I going? Oh, let me pull out my other APC bag. This one here, which is my APC bucket bag. And it's, I think it's pretty much the same color. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so there you go. You guys can see what kind of colors I like. It's a really simple, classic silhouette. And it's got beautiful contrast stitching, no feet. Again, doesn't really bother me. I can hang this on the back of a chair versus putting it down somewhere, so it's not gonna get ruined, I don't think. It's really cute, you guys. It's got the zipper and then an open pocket here and just a sort of round main compartment. And then you've got this. Now it's not super secure, so I'm not gonna wear this out where it's you know, super crowded or if I'm not comfortable in an area that I don't usually visit. So I'm thinking about getting either an organizer or a drawstring bag fitted into here so that there's a little bit more security. Even with this buckle, yeah, there's too much open space. So that's the only thing, but I feel like most bucket bags have this issue. Other than that, I think this bag is so pretty. I think it's really underrated. The size is amazing. See that, it's very generous. They also have the mini, mini one, exact same design, but just smaller. Actually, I saw a girl with with the exact same bag, the smaller mini one, and it was in black with the white contrast stitching, and she was wearing a blazer and loafers, and it looked super cute on her. And I think I have come to like this bag even more because every time I wear it, my husband compliments me or compliments the bag. 
and he doesn't care about bags and he doesn't notice bags but he's always complimenting this one so it kind of just increased my affinity for this this style okay and then back here is my Simbono bag which is the only vegan leather handbag here or actually that I own period in my entire wardrobe I also got this in green it's like a beautiful bright grassy green and I recently just gifted it to my friend because she saw it, she saw it and she thought it was super cute and I told her because I did a video on this showing you guys recently that I think this is a design flaw because the curvature with the zipper is causing breakage here on the piping you see here some of you said it's probably because it's vegan leather which is essentially your like recycled plastics and stuff like that but some of you agreed with me and said there's also probably an issue with issue with the design because you have to keep opening this and I think it's just too much pressure on that on these two points here because nothing else yeah no other area of the bag anywhere even the corners and I've worn this ivory collar quite a bit because I've had it now for a while no other wear and tear except those spots. So I did do a video sharing that and my friend saw it and she was like, oh, I love the green one. And I was like, but, 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 and she's like, I, I still love it. I was like, okay. So she has that one and she just wore it to golf. She likes to golf and she saw, she sent me a picture and it's, it's perfect for that kind of thing. Like a light outing, super casual bag, vegan leather, by the way, what I've learned in using this is that rain or snow or hail, it doesn't matter. It wipes down. So you don't have to fuss over it. I'll link it down below for those of you who are looking for a vegan leather option. It's really cute. It comes with a chain as well and it attaches here, but I don't have the chain in front of me and it fits much more than you would expect really. So I just want to give you an update for those of you who missed that video. The green one has been gifted to my friend. This ivory one I still have. I might include this in an upcoming giveaway as well because now that I've had time to test it out, I realize I'm really, you know, I love animals, but I also, you guys, I mean, I'll be honest, I, I, I'm not a vegetarian. I eat meat and I wear leather. So I know that sometimes people get bothered by that, but that is who I am. And I think also I prefer genuine leather over vegan leather. So I think now that I've had some experience with this, I've learned a lot. And I will probably let this go along with this beautiful bag just because the boxy size is probably not going to work for me. So that's two of these bags that I'm most likely going to give away. Here is one of my newest from Songmont, which is a brand based in Asia. I read the story. The woman behind Songmont, she used to work at Google and she just couldn't find certain bags that she was looking for and decided to make her own, which is cool. And now her mom, mom and aunts back in China, that's where she's from, uh, run the production. So this is the Songmont bag in the smallest size. And I remember when I revealed this, I was kind of like, oh, it's so cute, but I, I think the medium size would be more practical. And now that I've had a little bit more time with this and I've worn this out, I'll tell you a couple of things. Um, I do like the really soft, powdery, grainy leather. I think it's Togo leather. So I love Togo leather. I have it on my Hermes Birkin and Kelly. So if you like that kind of feel, it's like a dusty, powdery feel. It's nice. It's, it's unique. It's like a matte leather. And then I fiddled with this here. <laughs> Some of you were like, you're not doing the buckle right. And I realized after filming the original video that I wasn't. So it's much more secure with the buckle. So that's a plus. And then you can also put that right there, the magnet. So sort of like a crisscross, but it's still kind of open. And because this part is so short, I found that when I put my items in here, I don't feel very secure. Even though that bucket bag is also open, because it's so long and deep, I feel like all my stuff falls to the bottom and someone would have to actually reach their hand in there to try to take anything or I'd have to literally like spill the bag. This though, however, it just, I feel more vulnerable. So if I could do it all again, I would probably want to try out the medium size Songmont bag because I think it would look really cool, bigger on the crook of my, my arm. And I will say... Every time I grab this bag, I don't use this. It's a really nice strap. It's adjustable. It's thick, comfortable, but I don't love how it looks on me. At least I've seen it on models, you know, on the website. I'm like, oh, that looks so cute. But on me, it just doesn't sit right together. So I've been grabbing it like this, kind of like a little basket. So I, that's why I think also the medium size would be better. If you're contemplating getting this bag, 
I would say, depending on what you're using it for, if you want like a little dainty cute bag, definitely the small size is perfect. And if you're okay with the openness of it, if you want something a little bit more practical where you can shove stuff in and it's a bit bigger, I feel like it'll be a little bit more proportionate to the body, not as dainty, if you get the medium size. The large size is quite large, so I think the medium size might be the Goldilocks size of them all. So that's my update on this one. The feet are there. So far, I haven't noticed any issues. The magnet, I will say, comes undone very easily, so it's not a secure top, okay? But again, the medium size, I think, will be better. All right, so this too... I might, I might let it go. Um, and when I say I might let it go, you guys do know that it's because I intentionally set out to test out bags for you guys and give some of them away. It's not because they're bad bags. If they were bad bags, I'd say like, guys, don't do it. Don't even think about buying it. Something's wrong with it. Um, and you guys know I have plenty of bags, so I don't want to just keep accumulating a mountain's worth of them and become a hoarder. So I'm trying to be disciplined. So, so far, one, two, three, most likely I will be giving away. And then... This is an older bag. I've had it longer than the other ones. From Polen, this is the Numero Sept, original size. There's also the mini size with the chain strap, but this comes with the um, leather strap. I have not been reaching for this that much. I think mostly because I use it in the fall and it's spring now. But it's beautiful, this duo camel color. And I've not noticed any like unusual wear or tear since I started using it. I've had it for quite a while now can see no wear and tear on the corners it just it looks brand new the only thing I will say is it does now bother me a little bit more that this doesn't come off because I don't know I just want it to come off I want versatility I want ease of changing it up I think if I want to really do it I can push it through here open this buckle and remove the strap but it seems like it'd be a pain to do and then a pain to re, you know, redo. But it's cute. This comes off the top handle, but I kind of like it even when it's dangling like this. So I don't remove it. And then I wear this on my shoulder or crossbody. It really, really is perfect for crossbody. And it's very roomy. So this one's, a, this one's a good one. I just haven't used it all that much. And then this one, of all the pull-in bags I got, you already know I gave several away. And this one is my favorite, the Numero Neuf, number nine, mini. There's also the larger one. I've seen a lot of people in Manhattan with the larger one, actually. I spot it a lot. I also saw it in Paris. The mini, though, not so much. The mini is a little bit hard to get in and out of if you have bulky items. Like if you have, like, I mean, if you wanted to put, like, an agenda, I don't think it's going to fit. Or you might have to shimmy it in and play a little bit of Tetris. But, you know, I have big hands, and my hands go in, in and out very easily. There's a little. It's secure because the top handle is not removable, and it just sort of blocks the opening. So in that way, it makes it more secure. And yeah, I mean, it's a little dumpling. It's so cute, very artistic and sculptural and light. No feet. I don't know. I, I really like this bag. And I keep the strap on. I wear this on my shoulder or crossbody. It's got the adjustable holes here. So this one is definitely thumbs up. So you can kind of tell, oh, oh my gosh, I almost forgot the Kuyana bag. Okay, oh, and I have stuff in here. So the Kuyana tote, this is the easy tote in the small size. You see that? It says, it says Kuyana right there. It's such a nice leather. I had mentioned when I unboxed this that it's such a smushy bag and the leather smells so good. It's like really buttery and has a nice sheen to it. I think this is the cappuccino color. Small size is quite nice, very practical, very roomy. Laptop can fit, notebooks, full size notebooks and folders can fit. And it's got the two longer straps for your shoulder and then it's got the shorter ones just to grab. But I will say then the straps become a little bit floppy. But other than that, let me take some stuff out. I think this bag is really nice and especially for the price. So if you're okay with the smush factor, or in fact, if you like the smush factor, this is another bag, the Uniqlo Half Moon Crossbody Bag. I did a full review on this. Love it. Love it. 
the best workout travel errands bag. We're going to be in、uh, Korea and Japan later this year, and I'm definitely taking this one. Put that back there. And then, by the way, putting bags within bags is a nice way to store things and save space. And then my Lululemon, hang on. You see what I mean by flop? It's floppy. I'll come back around to that in a minute. Lululemon belt bag. Again, I did a full review. I raved about this. Love it. This one, too, really nice color. It's like a chalky color for the、uh, warmer months, like right now. But this one has sort of like that wrinkly textured nylon, and this has that smooth, silky nylon. So, different versions. And this has the monochrome black on black, and this has silver, so it's a little bit different, but both have that chunky zipper. I don't like the metal zipper, I like the chunky zipper, it's just smoother. Anyway, this is a great buy. I will, I will say though, if you can try to get the older model, you see how the strap is really clean. The strap goes into itself with no dangling extra piece. This model has this extra piece. Granted, it has a little elastic to keep it tidy, but eh. I don't like it as much. So, these are great. I will never stop raving about these. Okay. The AC just kicked in, so you might hear some background noise, but let me go back to this. And so, yeah, look, smushy bag. If you want a bag like this, you want to travel with a bag like this, you want to fold it up and pack it for your travels, you want a work bag or a study bag, you know, for campus if you're a university student. I think it's really nice. It just doesn't have any structure, but I like it. And here's the open pocket, and this is what it looks like. Now, the inside you can see gets a little scratched up because it's just like raw. There's no lining. Do I care about that? No, because it's the inside. It's meant to be used. But I'm pointing out all the things that someone else might get bothered by. By the way, I noticed that Kuyana did a really nice thing where they,、um, I don't know if they donated the proceeds. For the month of May, something I didn't, I didn't pay attention to the details, but they work with some organization to support mothers and children in need, which I thought was nice. So I wanted to point that out because any brand that goes above and beyond like that and isn't just about profits always catches my attention. So, plop, okay, what a mess! But I think I covered everything. Of course, I have to toot my own horn, call out the dress up your purse pochette bags. From the original collaboration I did with Melody from Dress Up Your Purse. These two, they're not designer, but they're leather. These are actually Togo leather. Yes, I'm a huge Togo leather fan. And probably the most comfortable, easy, carefree bag. I've gifted some of these to family and friends, and they're like, oh my gosh, it's so good. I have one friend who wears hers every time I see her in the black, and she didn't even tell me, but she bought it herself. And I was like, oh, you should have just told me. So when I told her we were making new colors, she went really, she got excited about the cream. So I'm saving this one for her. I'm going to give it to her. I'm going to see her soon. And this will be hers. How pretty. I'm tempted to keep this for myself, but again, trying not to become a hoarder of all things. And then we've got the pink one, which I don't have in front of me because it's. With my daughter. She took that from me and she wore that this weekend. She's obsessed with it. And everything she needs fits in the bag. And everyone was asking, Where's that bag from? And <laughs> it was nice because then I said, Dress up your purse. I did a collaboration. So, yeah, it's a really pretty pink. You guys probably saw it in my recent video. So, I hope this was all helpful. The update from Idol, the jewelry, and all these different brands APC, Parisa Wang, Ateliers Auguste, Kuyana, Polen. Um, and then all my little bags back there Uniqlo, Lululemon, Songmont, Simbono. I do not discriminate when it comes to bags. You guys know that. As much as I love luxury and designer and high end, that's not what I started with and that's not what I'm going to end with. I like to mix and match a high, low, mid. And for me, it's all about quality and value and variety. I don't want the same old, same old all the time. So I hope that this quick speed round of updating was helpful. Let me know which one of these is catching your eye. Which one did you order already? How are you finding it? Leave a comment down for me down below. Everything will be linked in my description box. If I have promo codes, I will, of course, add those in case you want to shop and you want to save some money. But give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.